Now we're going to learn how to calculate ARR. ARR is the average rate of return. So by this, we're looking at over the life of the investment. What's our return? How much money do we make? What's the average? So how much per year? And we'll find that in a percentage form. So um, if you don't have the question, it's the exact same question that we did earlier for payback period. It's just on the right on the, the, the website. Um, if not, don't worry too much. All the information that you need is right here. So looking at this, we can see that we had um, initial investment of $50 million. So that shows year zero. It's a negative number. That's the money we spent for investment. And our cumulative, therefore, is also a negative 50. All the cash flows were given to us. So just every year, that's how much money we make off the project. And then our cumulative is just um, taking into account. It's our net cash flow. We take into account the investment. Um, in calculating ARR, the most important numbers are right here, our last cumulative cash flow number. So if the project goes for eight years, we look at year eight and see what's our total cumulative in the end. What's that net cumulative when you account um, the initial investment? And the other number that's really important is the number of years because we want to look at how much money do we make over the life of the project. That's what the 60 is. And we want to annualize it, so we want to take the number of years into consideration. So that's the 4. So to do that, first thing we do is we take our 60 and we divide that by 4, which equals 15. So that tells us we made $15 million per year on this project. However, we don't want a dollars. We want this in a percentage. So we now need to take that 15 and divide that by our initial investment. So we look at that, that was 50. So we put our 50 here and that will give us 0 0.30 which tells us 30 percent average return on our investment which is a fantastic return for any investment. If you ever have that opportunity you do need to go for it um, unless it's too good to be true but that would be a fantastic return for any business. Okay, in calculating ARR, it's pretty simple overall, especially if you've calculated payback period before, but um, things to consider are some of the positives and negatives of this. Um, it's a simple calculation. It helps us uh, look at whether we're meeting a certain benchmark. For example, are we meeting like, the risk-free rate of return, which could be a government debenture for like the US. So I would say a T-bond is risk-free. We expect the U.S. to pay us back. You should at least be making as much, um, if not quite a bit more, than the risk-free rate of return. Or are we making more than our other projects, the benchmarks that we set forth? Um, so it's a nice way to compare our investments, see if we're making that return. Some of the disadvantages when you look at ARR, one big thing is that the reliance on forecasting. Forecasting in the end is basically an educated guess, and it really is a guess, and you're going to be wrong. So we see right here, our cash flows, they gradually go up, go up, go up, and then boom, year four, it's huge, $50 million. Now, this is, there's a lot of assumptions going on with this, and those assumptions could be wrong. And if year four happens to be wrong, then that ARR that we think we're going to get, that 30%, could be very, very different. So we're putting a lot into the, the forecasting and those assumptions, which typically are wrong. Hopefully, uh, for us, they're wrong the way that um, we're actually making more money if we're choosing this investment. Um, the one other thing is the time value of money. So when we look at this, uh, this $50 million could happen in year one. It could happen in year four. It does not matter in calculating ARR. It's all the same. And in reality... We know we'd rather have 50 million in year one than year four. Just like if someone offers you a thousand bucks today or a thousand bucks a few years from now, you want that money today. It is worth more money today. All right, well, that is ARR. It's pretty simple. Um, yep.